hello and welcome to my china a china where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is olodu konyedi and i'm your host i want to say very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this china i want to say i really really appreciate you and all who have been sending very encouraging words and uh, messages to me i want to say i appreciate that and also if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so that when next you put up videos you shall receive it you shall receive it so we've been receiving a lot of questions from our subscribers and one of them Kristen Ekon said, I came to know about your China and I've been benefiting from it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Please, sir, how can I model and design staircase? Uh, Kristen Ekon from Akwaibon State, Nigeria. Uh, Kristen Ekon, please uh, go through. I think we've done um, some modeling of uh, staircases. So check our previous videos. Go go down. Just check our videos. Go to my um, my videos. There are over 114 videos. Just go through them. I know I've talked extensively on staircase design. Please go there, and you will see it. If possible, I can put in one of the link to those video if need be i will do that i want to say thank you very much and we have um vj vj puskama from india he said thank you thumbs up i really appreciate that uneke akbo akbo comment thank you very much thank you very much I really appreciate all of you and also I have been getting some um, questions about um, I should to teach about how to design my pad foundation using a cell sheet I should use a cell sheet to design my pad foundation that is what I am going to be doing also at the end of this class i will be putting a link to this uh, excel file i'll be putting a link to this excel file but if you are yet to subscribe uh i think you are doing us a disfavor because we keep putting a lot of free content the least you could do to encourage us is to subscribe to our channel so if you've yet to to subscribe you are doing us a disfavor so please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so um this is one particular sheet that has been very helpful to me when i'm doing my foundation design i can use this as a quick check for my proto design or any other foundation design this is my go-to um, um five in getting it so if you have this page typically everything this is the project name put in your project name the client the location then this is made by who it's automatically changed the dates the page put the dates check by if there's a review if there's a number this is just the project information area so once you finish that you come to the material data your fcu i'm using 25 depending on what you are using put it there this is your fy your steel strength i'm using 410 because of the the present uh, steels in the market in nigeria in the market in nigeria but in your country um you may have different grade of steel please use the one that is found in your country but in nigeria um, we play 
it, that is uh, a typical steel strength that <coughs> is common in the market in Nigeria. So, but in your own country, please check properly to know the strength. So, our concrete strength is 24. Uh, our bearing pressure, which is the soil bearing capacity, is 150. Our aggregate is 20. The cover 50. The soil uh, density, we say 18. And all these are all the factor of safety. Factor of safety. Then, after you've gotten your load, after you've gotten your load, this is where you now put you put your load first before you even determine the sizes. Once you put your load here, this is the dead load and this is the life load. Once you put it, it will give you a suggestion of the of the footing. So Y here is giving us 1.3 square, meaning you need one one thousand three hundred by one thousand three hundred. Uh, no, one thousand three hundred. Good. So with this, once you put your your load here, you look at the suggestion is given to you, which is you put it here so if you change this let's say we say 250 now it has changed it to four to five so but if it gives you four to five what i do is i make it one one five one point five one point five so the the column these are the column dimension if there's any eccentricity we'll put it here but there is no presently we try as much as possible not to to have eccentricity so we try for pad we try to look locate it at the middle so after you've done that what you need to do now is to come to this area our ground bearing pressure immediately it gets to if this 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 is the status this thing shows you that is a valid design so but if it's not let's assume now we are doing um one four which is less than what was suggested one four one four you find out that this failed on the ground bearing pressure which is above hundred percent a seed permissible so if you see this it means you need to increase your your dimension of the footing so your dimension of the footing has to be increased and it gives you a valid design so if all these things these are all your check it mustn't exceed any of them exceed 100 so in terms of gram bearing pressure the pressure is getting to 90 percent of the ground pressure which is getting close to 150. we have the bending very good even even that let's see if we can reduce we can reduce it and it still flies at 350 we are still good these are the reinforcements um, the reinforcement the share is our share and these are the punching so these are things we pay attention to to punch through one if if the thickness let's assume now we make this hundred 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 let's say two hundred so based on the thickness of the slab it fade through punching so on punching now it fades so it means if this thing fades it means you need to increase you need to increase the footing 
and when we increase it it reduces it to this so this is it it reduces the pressure is there the bending it's it's past bending past uh, the the reinforcement required over the reinforcement provided the share and everything it's all passed so what you need to nest is because there, there there's a two two way to this this is as um, required this is as required as required and as provided most time um, this um, program the excel sheet pro provides a very high um, reinforcement so the as provided is always higher than than far higher than this so what we do is this is the required you can go to um, the the code where you get where you get your as from your area from so there are two ways to it you go to that area and you get and you get the the number of reinforcements that you want to use that you want to use or if you want the shortcuts you can either get now we are looking at using y 12 at 250 uh, at 150 at 150 because our the code the code for for it's the code for the the as minimum as minimum as minimum is say 1.56 bh bh yes yes so meaning um, okay um, what, what I normally do is I really don't take this uh, as provided by by the software I take this required 650 then I compare it with the as minimum which is this as minimum there are different school of thought some of them believe in 0 0.13 percentage BH but majorly I, I prefer taking 0 0.156 for uh, percentage B is, B is our our breadth and H is the is the high depth or the thickness of our of our um, pad so the B we is a one meter length we are looking at which is a thousand so after we calculate our minimum required steel for that design is 546 which is bigger this is bigger than 546 so we we'll use this but if the minimum is bigger than the required we we'll use this one so what do we do after that to require a, a requirement of reinforcement provided so with the reinforcement reinforcement provided provided would be would be um, if we don't want to go to the codes to pick this is just the fast way that's what I've been trying to do uh, you look for the cross section of uh, for slab we use um, 12 or for footing if is too big we can use 12 we use 16 we use 20 25 stuff like that so diameter 12 what the cross-sectional area gives us is 113 meters square 
so with this um, area of the diameter divide this by by it if we if we divide if we divide we'll get 5.655 approximately 6 bar so for us to know our spacing we take a meter <coughs> because our b is a thousand so divide thousand it's a, 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 a one thousand by the number of bars it will give us one six six point <coughs> six 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 so instead of that we we'll provide one 50 center to center so that becomes our um, area um, still provided the reinforcement provided for this for this pad footing becomes y12 at 150 y12 at 150 so it depends on um, what the size is if we now say y12 uh, 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 we are using 150 spacing if we divide 150 by 1.5 1, 1 by 150 it will give us 10 and you add 1 to it if we do that we will now say we are having let's say 11 y12 at 150 so that is how you design that is how you design your pad footing using a cell sheet. I hope this um, video is is helpful. So please let me know what you think about it, and if there's any question, please um, please let me know. And if you still have any question, please let me know. So we are we are creating we are starting something very soon very soon we are starting our community where we'll be teaching more on different areas of structural design we'll be going into road design steel design so please just uh, pay attention we will soon put out the the advert or the 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 notice the announcement on how you can become a community member of this channel so soon we'll be pulling out um, things and please once the announcements are made please key into it for you to benefit more if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button until i come again next time remain blessed time